Hi everybody, it's me Josie. Um, I was just doing this, I've been doing it actually for a couple of days. I'm finally preparing my own journal, I guess. I did do something in the past with an old agenda of my husband's, but um, it's more, it's, I don't know, it's more, I can't explain it. It's just, I just, you know, said I wanted to do something from, um, from me making it completely cover pages and everything. So I got some construction paper. I started folding it up and making little pockets like that. And, and th that's one type. And then I did others that don't have any pockets at all. Right? So, and I cut a lot of them because I was trying to, you know, I made the, the cover of the album with a rice box because they're nice and, and hard. They're nice and durable. So I'm, you know, sticking them in there. I'm, okay, it's not enough. I still started making more and I still started making more until I stopped and I started decorating them. Now, when I decorated them, it was another discussion because they started getting thicker then I thought, well, things are going to go in there. So I have all these left to do a future little album. And this is the way they turned out. I got all my, I've been going jelly print crazy, you guys. You have to see, I got to show you something. Okay, this is what is of my jelly plate. <laughs> this is the color it turns out when... Um, <laughs> I broke it all up again and I have to remelt it but hopefully my jelly plate will come in this week so I'm really hoping it will because it's on the fifth week so yeah this is all I took them all apart because I had done them the other day and I noticed that I did them really I did I did it really thin because I wanted to fill up a little container that was plastic to get a little one out of it so the my big one, my original big one, came out really, really thin. And when I was popping it out, like it was just coming out in pieces because it wasn't thick enough. So I just took it all, put it in a bowl, and this is ready to. I use this to put put it back into the um, into the tin. So that way, any kind of particles that are in here, because it does get dirty, it does get dusty, things stick to it. You know, like this yellow thing here that's. And this is the color it's been turning out now since I've been, I don't care because, you know, it doesn't matter. But, yeah, it kind of gets sturdy. So, and then I use a sieve to, to and I will put a, um, a nylon in there as well. So this is how my pages turned out. This is one of them that um, I did little birds. I showed you a little bird stamp that I bought the other day. So I stamped it on a jelly plate paper and then... I cut around it. This was already stamped on its own, always with the same birds. And this will be the pocket. Now what I'm thinking of here where it folds, I am, um, and here too, where to close it up, I want to sew it with the sewing machine so that way I can close off these edges and have three little pockets in here. And then a little flap that you can always, you know, put something in there or just anything. This is another one. Noticing that the battery is kind of low today. I hope it doesn't come off. This is the one without the flap. And here, I'm using even my baby wipes that have dried. This is a coffee filter. Got it on the other side as well. So this is just mainly, mainly all going to be of my Jelly Prince, this one, this little album. There's another one. This one just has a little flap. And this is even fabric that I did jelly plate on. I can't wait for my jelly plate to come in because I'm really excited. I ordered the big one because I'm really excited to do fabric on it. Um, I was, I, I am a quilter, so I'm really planning on wanting to do something in fabric with the jelly prints, like something modern, something that... You know, the kids today like, um, this is always baby wipes, and here I even put a stencil on it that has faces, but you can hardly see it because it was yellow. Little flap, more baby wipes, 
I love the baby wipes. I love the colors they are. And there's the other side. So I always ended up making one, two, three, four, five, six. And it fills it up. Well, it doesn't fill it up completely, but it will get filled up once I start adding on to these pages. See that? Another piece of fabric. Jelly print fabric. And before I put them on, I was kind of like stamping on them, doodling on them, doing something else. This is another one. This is always a baby wipe. Here you can really see the the stencil I did on it. And then I started cutting some borders as well too that I will want to use on the inside. And this has a flap as well. This, see I didn't do the inside of this, whereas the other ones I did the inside, it was pretty useless because you're not going to see the inside once this is all closed up. So yeah, I will probably um, want to sew this all. So that way it gives a nice look to it too. And this is the cover. Now this was a rice box that has a little heart in it. You, you could see the rice through this little heart. And I have got this idea. The other day I was watching um, Joggalistic, I think she is. And she just put out a video on these little cards that she's making. And I think they're only four by four. And she started doing these techniques. She did one technique with... Um, it's, it's like a, an acrylic glaze, I guess, or a metallic paint. Maybe it's in a metallic paint. And she did the backgrounds with a metallic paint and the backgrounds with, um, what are those things called? H2Os. I can't get those here. And I, and I love, love, love the effect that they give them. So I really liked the design that she was doing on it, and I did it. But what happened here was, okay, I'll show it to you like this. So what happened here was I did the background. And, and I did the background. My background was done with gelados. So it was all kind of like a rainbowy color around. All the colors that you see here in the background. So I started designing all of these little circles with silks. So what I did was I dried it really good with the, with the heat gun. And I wanted to start um, doodling on it with the pen. I'll show it to you up close so that way you can see it better. Okay, so what happens is the pen's not going through. Oh, by the way, no, no, right. So the pen's not going through. So what I do is, okay, okay what, I, what I could do is put clear, clear gesso on it so that way the pen will um, write on the clear gesso. And it did work, but what, what happened when I put the clear gesso on? You could see the colors of the silk started smearing everywhere which I was really upset about. But then looking at it, I said, I like that effect. Like it did give it a really nice effect. So a mistake did come out pretty nice. At least to me, it came out nice. So yeah, once the gesso dried, I started doodling on top of it. And then as you can see the little sparkly here, I've started putting stickles everywhere too as well. And just using a white pen and a black pen to accent. I probably can still do more to this and I probably will do more to this but yeah it's just the cover of a rice box so I cut the tops of it and the sides and actually um, the pieces of the top and the bottom I reinforce the binding area here and this is taped so I still have to do the inside of this and the outside is already done. Now as for the binding instead I saw this really interesting way of binding so easy that um, she just wind winded the string around six times and I'm going to do that as well six times too because I have six pages to put in here she had six signatures and what she does here where you can see it in the back so she winds them around making sure that they don't overlap each other and then she kind of tucks the other one inside she, she crosses the two ends and then tucks one inside and it all gathers up. And then she ties it and then she ends up putting up a little flower and a little button here. So you could see all the strings coming in but then gathering all up in one place. And then she took care, make sure that they were all, you know, in line here. And she started putting the signatures in which is really cool. 
And what was her name? Emphoria Gardens, I think. In in. Feria Gardens. I, I wrote it down on a piece of paper, you guys, so I could tell you, and now I lost that piece of paper. Really good of me, yeah. Here it is. Okay. Bicho Ephemeras Garden. Ephemera Gardens. E P H E M E R A S Gardens. Yeah. Really, really talented lady. So, what I was doing today, because I'm still, this was, uh, it's dry now, it, I just finished it about an hour ago and let it sit to dry. And what I was doing today is I'm preparing things to put inside here now too as well. So I got a whole bunch of tags together and I'm starting to gesso them. This one I like, it's really cool. I think that's, I think that's cool. I want to leave this one the way it is. I gessoed the back so I can do something on top of that. And, oh, actually, what I was doing, too, is I went, I was still going through my stuff, even though I'm not doing the fair anymore, and I found these two tags, too, which I really like. I want to get some use out of them. So, I had made them for the fair. Little tags that you can even put on a gift. And there's back, there's paper that you can write on. This is done with, um, oh, darn, what's that thing called? UT. This one here too, which has a whole bunch of stuff on it, chains, and it's something like what I did to the can, but without the foil. Yeah, no, here there's foil. I don't think there's foil on this one. There's even a butterfly in there that you can barely see. So I'm planning on using these in my journal. Um, I had this one that's already made too, but this one has both sides, so I'm thinking just, I don't know. And then I found these beautiful tags, all these from clothes, that this one I want to leave the way it is too. And I'll probably gesso the back. This is in fabric and I will do something with that one too. And this one's really cool. Look at that. It even has a nice thing, people for happiness. Made in Paradise. Isn't that cool? So I can use that in there too. This one, I like the old look of it. And the, and the two holes. That's what I love about this tag, the two holes. It's just something that I can write on to put in the book as well too. I'll probably even paste some of them on, on the in the book as well too. Um, there's just things that I'm starting to take out to get some ideas. This is something really cool too. I got socks in here with the little hanger and I left the hanger on. I gessoed the front and I started already painting it. Painting it. I'm going to um, gesso the, the inside of it. And this will be in there as well too with its little hanger. And these are already gessoed. They're ready to go. All of these. I don't buy tags because I have so many of them from the clothes, you know, and you can... My kids had this thing about saving their tags. It was like a... And all these little cut... These little doilies, they're all cut already like this because we made some cones. I helped my sister one day make some cones for um, a sweet table at a wedding and we made them out of doilies so they could put, you know, the confettis in there. I think you guys call them confettis. Yeah, so... Just doing this, and um, what else? Oh, I found some other things too while I was looking through my stuff because I wanted to find the tags, and I found I found this, which is adorable. These I've made tons of, and I and I've sold them, and and it was my last one that ended up staying here, so I think I'm just going to keep this. I love little canvases that are on pedestals. Oh my dear. And I don't know if my battery, I'm looking at my battery, you guys. I'm afraid that it might just shut off. And then I found these ones here too. These are little book markers that I made. And I have them all packaged in little bags. Right there. 
Okay, you guys, there might be a second part to this film, but this, to this video, because I'm worried about the battery. This one's um, cool technique. So I got the piece of paper. I decorated it. I ripped it up in parts and kept it in a way that I could all put it back together again here. And then I embossed it with some turquoise embossing powder. And, um, oops, homemade beads. Any more? And this one is all decorated with paper. Little butterfly from Martha Stewart's molds. Very light. Some backing. And another one of those, some of my favorite pearls, blue one. That's it. So, now I wanted to get to decorating these tags, but like I said, the battery, I'm afraid that it's going to go off. So, what I will do is I'll put the battery in, um, in charging. And I'll start getting more of this stuff ready and I will show you what I'm gonna do with the tags okay so everybody have a nice day bye